we look at a couple of the crazy lines. So there's the, the bishop sacrifice line, and now I'm going to have a look at, at the line which involves the knight sacrifice. And in fact, the knight sacrifice is kind of interesting. Robbie Wright, I think some of you may know, he, play, he plays the knight sacrifice line. Okay, I think he's played against me three times. I've won twice, he won once. I remember the time I lost because I, I played an automatic move and said, oh, I'll analyse it after I've, after I've made the move. Then when I'd made the move, I looked at the board and I realised I was lost. <laughs> so, so don't be lazy with your analysis is, 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 is the lesson from that because I am sometimes. But anyway, the other, the other couple of games I've won. Now, I'm going to show you this line, but again, this line is really pretty interesting as well. Um, because it gives you a really kind of unbalanced type of chess that's kind of dynamic and may suit some of you. Right. Right, so just to go back then, so what, if we go back to our starting setup. Okay, so e4, c5, knight f3, knight c6, d4, cd4, and d4. Again, we're going to go to especially copy move order. Knight f6, knight c3. Okay, we'll go e5, as I said, we've got some independent variations with e6, but we're going to we won't be able to cover those today. e5, knight db5, d6, bishop g5, a6, bishop takes f6, gf6. <coughs> as, I, as I explained, you cannot take the queen. Knight a3, b5, knight d5, and then we'll go look at the f5 variation. As I said, um, so sort of probably a little bit more modern treatment is the bishop g7 and then the third f5. But in this line, You've also got another option, which is to sacrifice the knight here. Okay, and this is a completely different characteristic to the opening where we looked at the bishop, at the bishop sack. Okay, and it's a slightly different principle. So a b five, bishop b five. Okay, and <coughs> but the best move is actually bishop b seven. Okay, so, I mean in the old days. When I was a youngster, the bishop d7 was actually quite popular, but probably practice has told us that bishop b7 is the most accurate move, okay? Um, and e takes f5, e takes f5. Now the interesting thing about this is you've got three pawns for your... What, what about three jack, three, a five jack? Still yeah, I mean, but bear in mind you can't take the bishop. Because if I play c3, you play queen takes b5, we've got knight c7 check. Yep. That's one of the important things to know. So I'm glad you asked that one, actually. Right, so, so what happens here in this position? Okay, I'll show you. I actually won a quite a nice game here. I think only, only this last week. I checked Brendan on the score of it. The, the guy's pretty strong, the, the player of the white side. I think it was 20, 20, 80, or 90, something like that. And this was the idea I had. So I'll show you. I'll show you this. So, play rook a5, okay? Right. Now, there are various moves you can do here. Queen e2 is possible, but probably one of the most popular lines is just to pay a4. And any ideas how you <coughs> continue here for black? nothing winning it but it's, it's certainly a dynamic equality for, for, for black with some good chances. <laughs> yes, Caleb. Take the bishop on b5. Yeah, absolutely. So you counter sacrifice the exchange rook b5, a b5, and knight e4. Precisely. So what does that do? Okay. It exposes the attack on the on the d5 um, knight, okay, uh, and you get dynamic play um, because this bishop can be very, very strong on this diagonal. 
You've got this bishop very often comes out to h6, okay, and it's quite a dynamic position. Now, I'll show you what happened in, in, in the game I played, so you can see. So what happened was this guy played knight e3, okay, that's actually not the right move, okay, but it's quite interesting uh, how, how roughly treated it was. The idea being that, okay, we want to take our knight away from being attacked, okay, we want to protect the g2 square, and we want to castle quickly, all right? So that's the principle behind that move. But it doesn't quite work, okay? <coughs> Any ideas what, 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 what you would play four. here as black? Nothing. Isn't there a bishop g7, and a bishop g2 takes? Bishop 2? Uh, g2, like takes g2. Okay. Bishop takes on g2, is it? Did you mean? Yeah. Well, the, the, knight, the knight protects the g2 square at the moment. Previous. We're going to find c4 being the right move, c4? c4 for white, before he moved his knight back. Um, oh, okay, but we can have a look at that in a second, all right? Um, Rook g8. Rook g8. Rook g8 is a reasonable try, but there is a, there is a better move here, actually. Queen a5 check. Queen a queen a five checks going to lose the queen because you've got the rook. Okay, so I'll tell you what the move is because I, I I gave it. Sorry, Caleb. Bishop h six exactly. I kind of gave it away away a little bit, but bishop h six. Okay. And okay, so this this guy I'll tell you what he played. The, it's actually not the right move, okay? Um, but the position, believe it or not, is actually quite difficult already for, for the white pieces, okay? He played c3, okay? His idea being that he wants, well, basically he wants the, um, that knight out of there, all right? And it's probably, if I'm retreating it, it's probably quite difficult to know what to do. So anybody, Give me the continuation from here. Yes. Bishop takes an eight pawn takes queen sack. Very, very good, Richard. Very good. Uh, actually, I showed this to I showed this to Ethan on our session on Monday, and he he selected bishop takes an eight pawn takes bishop g two. Now that line is only slightly better for black, okay? But the, the line that Richard pointed out is actually much stronger. So, bishop takes, pawn takes, okay? Queen h4 check, g3, what's the move now? Yes, Adam? Queen h3. Three, when? Queen h3. No. Queen what? Bishop F3. Oh, it's Bishop F3. No. no it's queen. It's queen to e4. It is queen to e4. Well done, Richard. Sorry. So and and queen to e4. And what does white do here? Castle. Eh? I'll tell you what he did, he resigned. Uh, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> and, and actually, I think I've shown Brendan a few games, not, in, not necessarily in this exact variation where this theme comes in, in the special income on the black side, all right? And you can see why he resigns, because basically um, he's getting mated, or, or, or as good as, you know. Um, obviously, we're threatening, with, with, with threatening here. Okay, if he plays rook f1, well, there's a slight problem of queen takes e3 check. 